I'm going to show you the most difficult part of an E34 display repair. Uh, not the whole thing, because uh, this cable and this LCD, which I bought brand new from you know, Pixel Fix, it comes with a repair manual that covers the whole procedure. But I, I, I think uh, we need a bit more information, a bit more detailed information in connection with uh, the application of the cable and the LCD, uh, which is going to be a bit more detailed in this video. So what I do now is that I have my brand new LCD. This is the old one. I just removed. Uh, this is the panel, which is quite easy to remove from the dash. But um, what I did now so far is that I cleaned the surface uh, with the uh, Q-tips, and I also used uh, a box cutter. It's clearly shown in the in, in the instructions manual, so I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to take time with this. Um, what I want to show now here is that. Um, I have the new display, and uh, one side it's it's clearly flat, and the other side has a step down. Okay, the display goes like this, and uh, I have to put the new cable on the new display. The cable comes with a with a plastic backing, so you have to remove this first. Once it's done, you put it on the side of the table facing down, so the black pads are facing the table. You see, these are the black pads here, facing down. Okay, if you put it on the table, there is no problem with it. It's just... I put a piece of uh, tape on it, like this. 50% of the cable, 50% is off the cable. So what I do now is that I, I, I grab the LCD and this, this little step down here, I can um, put my finger near here, so this this little step down is facing down okay and i'm going to attack the lcd from you know downwards uh, i will put my display on the top of the cable the way that the black pads are facing up and i'm going to try to use the strong light against the display so i can see through the display and i can find the proper position of the cable so the pads of the LCD will match precisely the pads of the cable. Just found it and I turn it over, I mean the, the tape. So the purpose of this whole thing is that I'm going to try to fix the cable in the right position. It's not about connecting these two things, it's just, it's, it's just about finding the right position. It was done with an orange tape originally, so in the factory. So I'm going to uh, put back the original clips, uh, which is which is a, a snap-on stuff. So you just uh, remember the position is uh, LCD with the cable is facing down, and I'm going to put this clip back. Just just snap it, snap it back just like this. This pressure, which is uh, provided by this 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 clip, is enough to have proper pressure, uh, proper connection between the display and the cable. Important. The display has two additional pit pads here and two additional pads here. So what you do is that you leave two empty here and two pieces empty here. So the this so the cable comes in the middle. And the next step is that you put it on the side of the table again and you put a piece of tape on the cable again, the exact same way. So 50% goes on the cable, 50% goes off the cable. I'm going to put it here and I want to make sure that the connection is, is properly done, so, so the pads of the cable will match the pads of the panel. On this side, we have one additional pad on each side. So I leave one pad empty on each side. I'm going to show you results. You can see that 
one pad is left empty here and one pad is left empty here this is the this is the proper position so this is going this is definitely going to work i snap the original clip back on and that's going to provide enough pressure to make a proper connection between the display and the cable and also the the panel and the cable important that uh, if you want, you can um, somehow grab this this piece of metal here and uh, just uh, strengthen a little bit. So you can press this in a little bit so it will provide better pressure on the surface. Okay, I put it back on. Now it's a bit, a bit stronger. It feels a bit stronger. And I want to make sure that the whole surface gets the pressure from the beginning until the very end. And now what I do is I don't want to forget about this, this uh, orange layer here. I also don't want to forget about this little button which says zero. And uh, important. I want to remove the protective layer here and also the one on the other side. So what I have now is a clear surf surface without finger fingerprints. Okay, I did something wrong here, so I just uh, need to do this once more. No problems, it can be done quite easily was not put back in the right position I know you can't see this on the video but I, I can see here that it's it's matching precisely okay now it should be fine so again two pads left empty here another two pads left empty here I snap it back on Now it should be fine. Okay, now I have my, have my fingerprints on it, so it's no good. <laughs> Let me clean it off. We are done. We have to take this plastic cover back. It's important that it goes back in the right position. More. Okay, should be fine now. You can hear that everything bent, went back to the right position. That's it. Now I just grab the, the cover. I turn these 90% clockwise. And I have a speedo here with brand new beautiful display working perfectly. That was all. If you have questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.